Hi, my name's John, and you're on my YouTube channel, highbanks.pilgrim. I chose Pilgrim in my channel title because I like walking the old pilgrimage routes in Europe, especially the ones across France. I chose High Banks because that's the name of my own garden, located here near Ottawa in Eastern Ontario. Now I like all sorts of gardens, and I'm running a series of videos on ones that have caught my eye. If I have a soft spot, it's for gardens that really show the character of their owners. Here comes one of my garden videos, and I hope you'll enjoy it. Glen Villa is a garden of art installations, unlike anything I've ever seen before. It's a private garden located near North Hatley, Quebec, on a beautiful lake, and it's only open a couple of times in a year. The video is my own personal impression of the garden that had a big impact on me. The owner, Patterson Webster, developed it over 25 years with help from her now deceased husband, Norman, who was a famous Canadian journalist. It has lovely plantings and great water features, but what gives Glen Villa its originality is its series of art installations, which reflect the life experiences of the Websters and the history of the property, which is a full 750 acres. hotel that burnt down more than a hundred years ago once stood here close to the present house. The Websters restored the wall and dug up lots of broken china. evokes the old hotel with this imaginary room made up of an entrance, a staircase, a dining room with a carpet of china shards, windows overlooking the lake, and a bed in the corner. She's written a fine book entitled Autobiography of a Garden that outlines all the thinking and work that went into creating this installation and others in her garden, and I'll reference it in my notes. This is called the Upper Rube, and it memorializes Patterson Webster's mother, who was a Virginian. This image is Virginia's state flower, the dogwood. I'm now in the timelines part of the garden. It's a four and a half kilometer walk with many installations. The inverted branches evoke the First Nations people that first occupied this land, and the turtle was their creation myth. If you're enjoying this video, give me a like and subscribe to my channel. This installation evokes the first colonization of the land. And now the Abenaki walking are entangled in barbed wire. The sign La Grande Allée acknowledges Quebec's French roots. Corrugated tin evokes Greek columns and here's the temple. It's built like a billboard. This commemorates a sugar camp that was operated by a farmer in this part of the woods. His name was Oren Gardner, and he was a very devout man. The Websters salvaged these steel girders from a covered bridge that burnt down in the area. 
This plinth is a poignant memorial to Norman Webster's journalism. That's a column of newspapers. I used to read him in the Globe and Mail and the Gazette. He was perceptive and had a great sense of humor. Well, that's it. There's so much to this garden that I haven't been able to cover. And if I've made mistakes, they're very much my own. If you get a chance to visit Glen Villa, you will enjoy it. Thanks, and bye-bye for now.